Love the artwork. Greeting agents. This is your community manager, 3RL. And with me again, we have the announcer. Hey, how's it going, everyone? I hope you guys are as excited as we are for this new set of trivia questions and some exciting new content around World Boss. So yeah, take it away. This guy looks so nervous. Alrighty then. We're gonna open up the live stream with a little bit of a surprise reveal. Uh, if you saw the live stream announcement banners, we're actually giving away some small hints. We prepared for the April Fool's Day special uniforms. So let's present Dan Satana one looking last uh, quite nice over in the left here. All right, there you have it. Maybe you've seen them on Twitter. April Fool's Day channels, new look reveal. But, uh, yeah. Let us know what they're saying in the comments, announcer. Yeah, some people are are telling us a uh, tech production reviewer channel. Thanos so looks down, insane. Not sure if he really uh, needs a <laughs> uniform, but he Sean does look Jason awesome. Satana, Black Swan mark. looking quality uh, over Dr. there. Meme says Angel and Satana. Yeah, yeah, April she Fools, looks beautiful. She looks so, awesome. Yeah, there we go. There like, we go. Yeah, All right. they're getting some good guesses. The heroes for the April Fool's Day special uniforms are indeed Angel and Satana. Angel and Satana. Oh, yep. Righty then. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are about Satana, the Ascended One, who has become an angel, and Angel, the Fallen One, who has become a devil. Let's see what some of those uh, chat responses. Yeah, as you remember, we've done this a lot in the past, like with the- uh, Nice, with nice, the, uh, the Ascended so One. Kind of continuing theme. It's kind of cool to see- Angel getting a little love, which is pretty like cool. Angel becoming super evil. He looks and sick. Kind of looking really angelic. Yeah, I, I really like her. Uh, her yeah, yeah, looks. yeah. Both of them well, looking really sick. The, uh, love the, the uniforms. excited for that. Pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into it, shall we? Okay, next up. We will have um, Black Swan. He's definitely new sick. Super villain he doesn't look like he feels too good. Boss. I don't know. With her joining Marvel Future Fight, the Black Order has been completed. Uh, coming up in today's stream, we'll learn more about Black Swan, who is not only the new world boss, but also a playable new character right off the bat. Whoa. Lastly, we have Thanos, a new world boss leader, and a playable Order, character. And once a hmm. wise harvester. He's returned with a new look. He's retired. He's gotten him out of retirement and ready to kick butt. So we hope you're yes, excited. Yes, this is the the new update as we dive into the details. This is of the, the March, uh, I don't know Black Swan update. I'm also excited to announce as always. Is this the Thanos that whoops the shit out of Galactus, so showcase the Silver and Surfer, update, and all them? We'll kind of test your skills. Um, then this means you chat. So Did you say new World Boss Legend, but same rewards? War. Awesome. And as always, we prepared no the surprise, game. really. We live stream to the very end. And just one last note we always kind of give you is please note. I just saw a message. Days. One of the guys in the uh, comments on the stream said, and there may be uh, he said, the they'll be mid, that, but they look great. Talking about these the uniforms. <laughs> the update, shall we? That's funny. Like, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, okay. Angel gets the tier 4, man. Okay. That's surprising to me, but alright. Okay. Back at it. Let's check out the first look of the new supervillain, Black Swan. Announcer, what are your first thoughts? I mean, she looks really epic, really menacing. I gotta love that lasers, those red lasers coming out of her eyeballs dude that's pretty sick uh yeah wouldn't want to get on her bad side all right so black swan is no you want to get on her bad side what are you talking about in her instincts and has been released as a powerful native tier three hero uh black swan will lots show of people putting in tier four wanda in and has a tier two passive that ignores basic attacks uh, i just black heard swan pvp energy blast from her eyes as we saw the little red beams there and attacks in a wide range. That's already an out for me. With telepathy with her tier three skill. And we'll go ahead and be revisiting the supervillain later in the world box. It's always a problem with tier four. It's like no matter what show. tier three comes, it's like it's cool. Um, her but first passive is called Uncompromising Precision. Um, nice name. Try to say that five times fast. Um, nice this name. I like to it. Self, a chance to penetrate super armor, barrier shield, and all damage immune as well as invincible. Yeah, penetration's good. Basic defenses, increasing skill damage, and bonus damage. 
Her second passive is called Brutal Incursion. This applies to self, increases additional pierce damage, and decreases basic damage received, and has an activation rate of when HP is below a certain percentage. It applies to self, ignoring basic damage for a period of time, while increasing basic damage and reducing damage taken for every time, uh, ignoring enemies. Is it me, attack. or do these? Does this guy like over swan? Kind of like over analyze, not analyze, but over. Swan. Like, um, this applies to all allies. How, how do I want to word this? Like, say too bucks. much about a character. Like, so you haven't. There's can't a first simplify it a little bit. Black I mean, it's Swan. easy to understand. And so, just... with that, we're gonna jump into the first bit of trivia. Received. They got decrease damage Announcer, increase all attack. Blah blah Alrighty, blah. guys, I hope you have your Marvel lore uh, cap on. So, hey, let's. So it's pretty the funny they got this the other guy in here in this live Black stream. Actually, I think he helps a lot. Secretive organization. Because yeah, you can't see his face, FBI. you can't so see anything, right? <laughs> you see this gentleman, <laughs> right? And no offense to him, but he just looks Alrighty. like. While you're uh, getting the answers in, let's take a he looks, closer look at this. Uh, what's moves. the what's the word I want to use? He looks kind of like a beta male. No offense, guys. Like he just does. I don't go. know. Got the full entrance and everything. Let's jump straight into her skills. First up, we have skill number one, which is Anti-Matter Punch. Anti-Matter Punch. There. There's a little bit of some kick action in there too, but... I love the black effects, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. Anti-Matter yeah. Punch also sounds like some kind of... Good idea though, having this other guy team up with this gentleman uh, this causes, in the stream. I think it makes it a lot better. As well as some energy damage and additional energy damage as well. Skill number two, is called okay. Doomsday Gaza. And we're Doomsday going to turn Gaza, I like the name. I like the uh, signs on her, like her skills, like the way these look. Pretty sick. Oh, you can't see my cursor. What the hell? That's crazy. But I like the way the skills look on the buttons. Pretty cool. Alright, there we go. Not much, just a little thing I noticed. Um, this counterattacks when defending against enemy attack and enables uh, attacking enemies who have activated the ignore targeting effect. Um, it applies burn, stun, and removes active buff from target as well as paralysis. Also has a uh, 100% chance to grant all damage immunity and targets the ignoring targets. All right. Skill yeah. Off, so not just getting shot okay. <clears throat> I kind of like it. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, so far right, so three, okay. I guess. It's called death pirouette like honestly when it comes to uh black swan so far i'm finding that the coolest thing about the character is how she looks and then like like all aesthetic stuff you know what i mean like i don't know all right death pirouette applies burn stunning capacity that's a pretty cool looking skill i like that i like that that's nice uh, increases all basic attacks. That looks damage, good. Damage, I do like damage, that. Okay, my bad. That looks right. good. So next one is I can deal with that. Interdimensional destruction. They're all nice and gathered up for me. I think last time I did this in the test, it kind of moves people out. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. That one is menacing, too. I love That's that. Nice. nice. Okay. That four skill is uh, pretty interdimensional sweet. Interdimensional destruction applies burn and fire. And fracture, some good well AoE some there. Not bad. Nobody gives a shit about burn, dot damage, and Marvel Peach Fights. A also joke. Also, grants invincible and barrier. Nobody cares about dot. Dot Number is nothing. Nice it's useless in Marvel Future Fight. Check out skill number Nobody five. cares. Skills make me think she had some kind of dancing background. Maybe if you guys ever made it dance. useful, it'd be all right. Swan but it here. sucks ass. Let's go. Let's dot is terrible in this game. You know yeah, I know. Like Burn for blah. ABX and blah blah. Uh, I know, I know. But, but the I'm dot like, itself I don't know is, if I want to dance, is a joke. Feel like she's very intimidating. This move causes burn, stun, and paralysis, and decreases. Dot and future fight is literally just percentage. something to use to cancel roars. All basic attacks. That's about it. Speed and, and ABX and ABL. And lastly, we have our ultimate. But it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Well, yeah, no one wants to <laughs> dot no damage wants to over time. <laughs> when in the hell does their right, dots do Queen's any damage over time? Gets off off her little throne. Throwing down. Shooting fire from eyes. Yeah. Uh, okay, that wasn't bad. It was all right. This uh, applies fear, silence, and incapacitation, uh, as well as invincible. 
increasing basic damage by 100% for one attack and increasing all basic mm. attacks. All right, we're going to jump into the combo. I've been hit or miss in the last rehearsal. Here we go. Combo. Uh, Moment of truth. Three, four, five. Um, Three, four, oh, you got this, bro. Let's, let's go. go. Let's okay. see if there's any canceling um, here. Deborah or do we got to let shit play Deborah out? Show us three, four, and five. All right. Let's see if my timing has got any better. Hey, here we Ooh. go. There we go. Ooh, Ooh, one for one. Damn. That looked good. Let us know in the comments. That looks prop friendly. There, let's see if anyone has some of those answers hit me announcer all right guys so i'm seeing a lot of interesting questions here in the chat uh the question was black swan was imprisoned by which secretive organization uh excuse me if i'm not pronouncing your guys names are okay but uh the first question answer we have is miriam Katoon says the cia that's close to the fbi but nope that's not it <laughs> uh Let's see, Fex user says Black Order. Um, unfortunately, uh, that wasn't, she wasn't in prison one. The correct answer is, let's see who got the first one. Torch, Torchy says Illuminati. Oh man, Ooh. she was in prison by the secret organization, the Illuminati. Scary in both worlds, I guess. That's yeah, like, just like you know. IRL. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for that chat. We appreciate you. Let us know if you're excited for Black Swan. Okay. Now we're on to okay. good old Angel. Up, now he looks fucking badass. Angel, who has received a Got a demon look going on. I like upgrade. it. Angel, even though his he name looks badass, indicates someone man. who might have shown some angelic appearance, like has it. become the fallen one. And take a look at his... But, uh, I don't know. Ooh, Angel getting a fun. tier four. I will say he is definitely ripped. Man, know. look at those abs. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually yeah, looking at his wings and dude. horns. Look at the little tears in the wings. I never really noticed that the first time. It's kind of cool. That's what I was looking at. Angel, like, like so ripped. They're all angel. ripped. All the males are ripped. Uh, angel will be useful in PvP as he can remove debuffs of allies with his awakened skill. He can reinforce and heal himself with his tier 4 skills as well. And his first passive is called Aura of the Fallen. He this has healing in his tier 4, right? Ignoring target dodge rate by percentage as well as super armor and increasing all basic defenses by a percentage then his second passive uh is called dark i mean judgment. i'm not really sure why anybody would tier four angel unless they really love the guy dodge rate as well as increasing skill damage and i believe damage. he's speed still and lastly, isn't he? we have his leader skill which is called devil's salvation applies to all allies a percentage increase of recovery and dodge rate all right ready for the next a uh, bit of trivia, everybody. I mean, Lay it on is he going to beat Luna right, guys, so and ABX there and ABL? Angel fans in the in the chat? I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about the baseball team either. No, so. no, not the baseball team. Uh, all right, guys. The question is, what is Angel's real name? Uh, I think there somebody are, said Kim and Cage guys, was so way more Angel's entertaining. All right. True. There was a quick hint. The quick hint That's true. is that they were. His name consists of four different parts. Um, yeah. So while you figure it out, we'll take a look at his abilities. Don't no angel him. fans here. I'm reading the Let's chat. Go. No angel fans. I like Angel. He's an awesome character, honestly, and he's always been a really cool character in uh, like Future little, Fight. He kind of flies it's just I don't think light. anybody's really going to need here. Tier Four from All this right. character. First up, unless skill number one is called they love Devil's Angel. Charge. Let's turn off the countdown as always. Announcer, let me know which of his skills is your favorite. So keep you on your toes. Tier Four right. does skill look one, awesome. Devil's I do charge. like it. Oh, that's all right. Like the little little spin moves. Um, this one applies stun <laughs> as well as some physical. I doubt you can cancel that, but. Skill number Dude, two. Quick around yeah, I got cold chill. I got really goosebumps. Fast. I don't know if there's. Damn. Anyway, yeah, he's real quick. He's got some good movement speed. Right. Skill number two. Really nice. Uh, Excuse me. Let's see if we can get a better. Across and then a slam down. Here. Skill two. You ain't gonna be able to cancel that right, either. I don't know, man. Paralysis as well as some physical damage. Keep getting everyone all spread out over here. This little group. Skill number three is called Angel's Fall. Hopefully, you can cancel that. Yeah, that yeah, one is that's pretty intense. That's probably my favorite. Do it one more time. Um, he like literally repeatedly is like slamming one, two, three, four. Who does this remind? It reminds me of kind of like Hyperion. That's a fun one. Uh, Angel's Fall applied to bleed. 
and removes elasticity as stun incapacitation and removes active buff from target. Applies itself 100% chance to grant all damage immunity and accumulates a small percentage of damage when attacking. And there's a small percent increase of all basic attacks for each percentage of pure damage accumulated. Yeah, Daredevil. Uh, yeah, Angel looks sick. I right agree. Right there, I think this uniform looks awesome. All I right. really do skill like it. Skill number four, Demon Feather. That third skill is pretty cool. Really like all well, the that's alright. I like that. I think you can see, yeah. That's all right. It's not too bad. Don't think you can cancel it. It's like an all out. Like it reminds me of a certain uh, other game. I mean, I just think but, it, it's yeah, weird it's that this was the choice uh, for the tier skill. four. Demon's I think that's what's weird to me. Paralysis. Uh, this all basic. I don't think Angel was the best choice for tier four. Immunity. It applies to but, self. Okay. Uh, a recovery of HP. I mean, if you love Angel, then obviously it is a good choice. By 100 for attack. All right. I don't know, still man. For relevance five, in the game, are you ready for the next Angel one? still a speed, speed corrupted. mutant superhero, huh? Yeah, like a metal band. <laughs> I know. Is he a villain? Is he considered a villain now? Voice of the corrupted. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Satana yeah, so paywall uni science as usual. And incapacitation, removing active buff from target. Yeah. Let's check out again, shall we? Um, as well as recovering percentage of HP. I know, Leo. I know we're at a stage where anyone get a tier four, but it's just. Speed I mean, we do. We need more PVP tier fours for sure. Right, and then we. So you know what? Hey, if they skill. if they want to bring in PVP tier fours, it's all good. Uh, it just means I won't put any one, effort into them or level them up or anything. So that works for me. Saves me materials. It was that beast. It was beast. And oh, that's sick, dude. One more time. One more time. PvP uniforms, I don't even want to buy. I don't want to spend any of my crystals or anything on uh, Angel the Advent applies stun and applies itself critical rate. Ah, uh, PvP increase, needs a whole new increase, rework, if you ask me. Target dodge rate by percentage and a chance to penetrate with PvP tier 4s are a skip. For me, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I guess for you too. I know for some players that's not the case, but. And lastly, we have uh, this little striker yeah. skill here. I just can't get into um, it. Is called Wings not in Future Wings. Fight. Let's check it out. This is a pretty quick one, but it's. Pretty fun. Increases all basic attacks. Decreases damage received by reflect from reflected effect. Rejects all attacks for a few seconds and recovers a small amount of HP. Reflector. Right. Enough of his skills. So Angel's going to be Let's a lost cause, I think, for a lot combos. of players. Unfortunately, right. even though his uniform looks awesome, I, fail I think he's going to be a lost cause this. for a lot of players. Um, in the meantime, get ready to uh, chat for those uh, answers. Yeah. All right. Three, five, and four. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what two, I'm two thinking. Two. Easy, bro. Let's, Let's go. go. Three RL. It really helped me when I started, like, so I used to kind of just button mash a little bit. and like three, four, I five, mean, that's kind of the, three, uh, you know, that's kind of the thing that uh, plagues Future Fight, is that once movies, you have a few tier stuff, fours, to, you know, what's up, Idris? Once you have a few tier right. fours, you don't it. really need Let's any more unless you're super competitive. Uh, Trivia, uh, or pushing world boss. Right, guys, so That's the only reason I ever need tier fours is world was, boss. What is Angel's you know? real name? All right, let's see here. We have, Why does the graphics uh, look so bad? On um, what uh, the Nacho video says, Gabriel Michael. Nope, that's only two parts. Remember, three I mean, it's at 720. Four parts to his name. Ozan it's at 720, and that's the highest it goes. So I guess well, they're not all. They're <laughs> I don't not know all what Angel else fans. I can do, bud. Rude. Uh, Mogul Chrome says, This Anthony, is not nope. me. This is uh, uh Gomez Net Marble. Is that uh, Their video, not my see. video. Somebody got the real name. Somebody got the real We're name. We're just watching the live stream oh, reacting to this Mohammed thing. Mohammed as Eldon says, Warren Kenneth Worthington the third. So, yeah, that's definitely a go. four part. Okay. Game. Maybe it was a little chat more challenging. I guess, uh, like he's real Net Marble's too cheap to do a 1080 money. live stream. Oh, money, dude. Yeah. Anytime I don't know. Warren Kenneth I don't know, man. But you can call me Angel. <laughs> oh, All yellow right. sissy humor. Well, we That's cool. Like I like it. You go, bro. You go. Show that sense of humor, my friend. Fuck yeah, dude. Don't let the haters oh, hate on you. On the other hand, we have Satana. I, I gotta say, guys, Satana looks fucking awesome. White. I really that is a beautiful look looking here. skin. Um, didn't really know much about this character until this next update, but. Again, she really fan. does look angelic. Um, let's see. Along with her new look, she's also received. I don't know yet, Idris. I'm watching it. Um, and this look of Satana Damn, is girl. Good. She looks good, she's man. Gonna purify her enemies with sacred white <laughs> she looks flames, awesome. resembling a seraphim, um, an ancient angelic being. 
Uh, Satana will be of great use, especially for PvE with her powerful buff of increasing allies' fire damage. Some of the other characters had some fire damage, so maybe they'll pair to go together. You let us know. Her first passive is called Aura of the Noble. This increases energy attack and decreases basic damage received. Her second passive is called Angel's Wrath, um, which could be another like cool club name. But anyway, this increases chain hit damage when attacking, ignores target dodge rate by a percentage, and increases skill damage and increases bonus damage as well. All right, it's that time again. A little bit more trivia. All right, guys, so before 3RL takes a closer look at her new angelic moveset, let's get another question going. Satana was a member of which super group? Here's hmm. a hint. It was created by a certain Baron. All right, hopefully that wasn't a little too on the nose, but let's take a look at her skills and game, shall we? The Justice League thesis. Some of these comments. What we got Johnson here, girl? Show us what's race. up. Let's jump right into it. Let's see her flying. See, she seems, I don't know. Maybe Good just movement speed. Angel I like it. Moving. She seems to be pretty quick, but like, at least like both her hands are glowing with this little white flame particle. <clears throat> All right. First skill is called Angel Flame. The content in uh, Future Fights is better than Copa's. This causes fire damage based on only world attack. boss, but oh, it's better. Counter, yeah, it's definitely better. One more time. That's Angel Flame. I believe in Future two, Fight, you again, get better rewards from, from the know. PvE oh, content know, than what you do in Copa's. Because two, in this game, Angel, there is RNG arrow, for the amount of rewards you get, too. but you still get rewards guaranteed. Like You're still going to get things that's going to level up tier 4 characters and so on. Whereas <laughs> in Copa's, uh, it's all RNG. Every fucking reward is RNG, 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 and it sucks ass. So, yes. Future Fight has a better Let's reward right system. Uh, Future Fight also has a world boss that's... Uh, I would I would say actually it gives yeah. players some motivation said, to uh, play. Copa's cool cool has no in-game content like point, like other than Tower of Illusion, which you play one and done, and that's it. Whereas in this <laughs> game, <laughs> with World Boss, you play as many times you want. You can move up the ladder, move up the stages, have well goals. In Copa's, the only goal is damage numbers. That doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Sorry, excuse my language. It doesn't mean anything. All right, skill number four is called so, Judgment yeah. Sword. Copa's uh, content is pretty shitty. Damn. Oh, dude, that one's part. I, th I, I, I think most people would better. agree. It, it is. It's shitty. There we go. Try to get right there in the center with that. They one. need to up. Judgment Sword applies up it a little uh, bit. burn while dealing with fire damage for every one second, as well as silence and capacitation. Excuse me. Removes active buffs from target. And decreases all basic defenses by a small percentage as well while applying recovery to self and increasing all basic attacks, defense, speed, crit rate while moving capacitation and a 100% chance to grant all damage and immunity. I think this one coming up is my favorite. This is skill number five. It's called Grand Atonement. We're going to try to go from the left to uh, the right to the left. Sorry. Let's go. Using the V-pad, of course. Nice little motion. Get him, girl. Oh, 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 oh. Get him. A little bit. Let's try it one more time from like right here. Yeah, you gotta love skills that you could utilize that V-pad movement, dude. That's pretty sick. I mean, this is pretty much the and same as what she had. It's not a whole lot different except for the color scheme. <laughs> All right. Uh, Grand Atonement. Again, you can use the V-pad to use the skill. Causes burn while dealing additional percentage of fire damage, as well as charm an additional percentage of mind damage. And recovery equal to percentage of DOT damage, as well as snare. And, uh, Applies invincible and increased basic damage by a percentage for one attack. All right, her next skill is that awakened skill, and it's called Princess of Hell. And you'll you'll have someone else join in here, Hell Storm, who has also received a potential transcendence, joins in this potential transcendent skill. Check it out, shall we? There he he like slams down, and she rains some meteors. I wonder if you can cancel that <clears> skill. <throat> Let's check it out one more time, shall we? Together they summon the Hell Ground and drop meteors. I mean, this is a paywall uniform, huh? Additional percentage of fire damage as well as I didn't see anything that made me want to buy it. Critical rate and Other critical than how it looks. Increase, ignores target dodge rate by a percentage and a chance to penetrate with super armor, that was barrier, pretty cool. shield, all damage immune, and invincible. 
as well as granting invincible and removing all the buffs while increasing all basic attacks by percentage in basic defenses. All right, will we go three for three? Three for three, you got this, man. Four, three, and five. Let's go. Okay. There's some people that keep saying, why doesn't Hellstorm have a uniform? I wouldn't argue with that. Oh. Oh, it's all good, man. Just all right. get back on that horse. <laughs> right? I don't know, guys. Like, so far, I'm kind of like... There we go. Nice. Like, Still I already know Satan is not going to be good perfect, to use. Not perfect, but that's okay. Uh, but, Alrighty then. The time has come. AC. Let's see if you figured out which supergroup Satana was a member of. All right, guys. So we have a few answers here in the chat. Maybe the hint was a little bit too on the nose, but one of the funnier ones we got is Jara says Spice Girls. That is a super group, but that is unfortunately <laughs> not the group she was part of. Eduardo <sighs> de la Rosa says Strange Academy. Nope, that's not it. We have Anime Bleach Babe with the correct answer. It's Thunderbolts. So she was an answer. Oh, actually, hold on. Jay Taco says Powerpuff Girls. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, yeah, Dante. A new Marvel game tomorrow, huh? The what is it? Super group she was part of. Take it away, 3RL. Alrighty, thank you for uh, partaking in our trivia. We hope you enjoyed the April Fool's Day with the Fallen Angel and the Ascended Tran, uh, Ascended Satana. She looks good. I like the look of the uniform. Alrighty. This here, th this uniform here least, is, is, is a weird one for me because I love it and it looks awesome. Update. But Thanos didn't King need Thanos, no damn uniform. Having the entire universe under his reign. Attacking he just didn't need one. Beautiful Twilight Sword, which is maybe larger than some other characters. In oh, yeah, Dante, Dude, okay. Sword is epic. It looks larger I mean, I love the look of this thing. I love old man Thanos. Clearly, he's uh, just... come out of retirement and no longer... It's too just soon. Need, we just uh, didn't need it this armor. fast. It'd been better it's if they would have gave it Thanos a uniform, you know, a good yeah. year from now kind of instead of now. Like I mean, they're just milking out one of their more popular characters all they're doing here. Uh... Thanos will dominate in PvP. He looks badass. I he like summons, it. He will also be summoning the cosmic it's ghost. It's a common Rider trend amongst all these uniforms so far. And, is I think they all uh, look his awesome. His enemies will be ruthlessly attacked with his younger self. So more on that he later. He does look see. good here. Um, his first passive is called Hero Slayer. But... He supplies super armor, increasing all basic defenses, increasing basic damage dealt to superhero, the superhero faction. <clears throat> And there's activation of one hit. Will apply as a cell for recovery, a percentage of HP. All right. Last yeah. trivia question of the evening. Um, before we check out the Mad Titan skills, let's go, announcer. Lay it on us. All right, announcers. I mean, all right, announcer. That's me. All right, guys. Who among you guys knows your Marvel lore? This is actually a really interesting question, and I never gave it any thought myself. But the question is, what causes Thanos' skin to be purple? And it's not from eating a lot of eggplants, I can assure you. What causes Thanos' skin to be purple? So, all right, guys, let's get those answers in the chat. All right, let us know. And we'll jump straight into his skills while you're thinking about it. All right. Let's... Okay. Yeah, Thanos is a deviant. Thanos. That's why he's his skin's purple. Tall. Um, I don't know if he's he looks taller than Beta Ray Bill. I can't really tell. Yeah, Beta Ray Bill. Was What's up, really Zimbo? Nice. He's also he's like pretty tall. He's like, uh, he's well, he should be taller than Beta Ray Bill. It's Thanos. Like, he's massive. Running at you with this giant sword. Uh, no, thank you. Not want to be me. Cool down off. All right, <clears throat> jumping right into it. Skill number one is called Warp Blast. Bam. Pretty much same right. as what we've Warp seen. Blast. Applies to enemies, stun and removing all buffs from target. Uh, applies itself a percentage of HP increase, a chance to penetrate with super armor, barrier, shield, and all damage immune, as well as invincible, removing all debuffs and an energy uh, high percentage of physical attack with that energy damage. Skill number two is called Twilight of Titans. We'll go over here on the left. All right, announcer, you gotta let me know again. Call out that favorite skill when you see it. <clears throat> For sure, dude. All right. Twilight of Titans. Let's go. That was pretty cool. Nice. There's like multiple swords coming in there. This causes burn, stun, and energy mm -hmm. damage with a high percentage of physical attack. All right. This is... <clears throat> excuse me. All right. Skill number three. We're going to see... Uh, 
Ghost Rider come in here and join the fight. Let's check it out, shall we? Oh. He like dive bombs into it. That's kind of cool. cool. So coming out from the right side there. Bam. Takes Thanos controlling Lots some uh, heroes here. Super Old super Man Thanos. This causes right? burn and paralysis. Is the Hulk a part of this? Applies itself. You guys know Old Man uh, Thanos was uh, and had weakens, a Hulk slave. Crit rate by a percentage and removes incapacitation with a high chance to grant all damage immunity. All right. Skill number four. It's called Twilights of the Multiverse. All right. Let's check it out. Rain down sword. So I assume from. I mean, obviously he's gonna have flame damage. Different versions of the sword. This causes time freezing. Honestly, well this looks burn, pretty much like uh, I don't fire know. damage for every one second and decreases all basic defenses by a percentage as well. Uh, causes incapacitation, which removes active debuffs from target. And applies and increase all basic attacks, all basic defenses, and speed. All right. Favorite one yet, announcer? I mean, I like that last one because it kind of looks like the game like messes up, but it's actually his time freezing. I like that. All right. Skill number five is called Seasoned Slayers. Let's go. Here we go. We got in his past self coming in to fight with him. That's well, he's out in the open when he's cool. doing that. That ain't good. Let's see, try to get right here. Yeah, there we go. See a better angle of him coming in. Here. Iframe would have been better. Uh, supplies stun, fracture, and capacitation. Decreases all mm. basic defenses by percentage. Uh, hmm. Stacks and ignores immunity. Also grants invincible immunity to all debuffs. And excluding bosses, it ignores enemies damage uh, by a percentage. <laughs> and lastly, we're going to check out his ultimate skill, which is called Endless Void. Pretty menacing, if you do say it myself. All right, Endless Void. This decreases all uh, speed. Yeah, Dante. Yeah, I actually got Stone up early this fear morning. Capacitation. Couldn't sleep. Uh, as I, was, well I went to bed to early last night, so yeah, got up rate. a little earlier, which uh, is good. You can get on the stream a little bit. Shield, alt engine, yeah. invincible, granting invincible, and removing all debuffs, increasing basic damage. I'd watch this since I missed it yesterday. All right, we already messed up the, the streak, but we're just gonna keep on moving into the combo. Three for four. All right, we got three, four, and five. The dev recommended combo. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's that didn't look quite uh, proc friendly there. That looked almost well, like there rage you friendly. Look at Thanos from Thanos wins. Uh, and with that, let's jump into the last bit of trivia from the chat and see what we got. Which is nothing new. He's already so rage friendly, but still. In the chat. Some of them legit I don't know, guys. So like, you know, awesome I answers. saw that, and I don't think nothing like about what I, I just saw. There's nothing the chat. spectacular. Uh, the quickest, which leads me to believe that hey, Majin Buu, cool, what's up? So. Here is, I just, I don't know, man. I don't think Thanos needed shit. says the deviant gene. PvP uniform? but... Here's some funny Does ones. Does it have uh, ignore eye frame? I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> Destiny Ray Passion says lack of oxygen. The King says eggplant. Uh, the <laughs> Secret user War movies says, got delayed. Oh, who know. cares about Secret there's Wars? Purple oh, there's purple. Yeah, there's purple. Yeah, It'll be a shell of itself that. compared yeah. to the comic oh, books. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> right, take Thanks everybody for uh, participating. <laughs> in the comics, it's awesome. But just a little bit, you know, some live action. Don't care. Never really thought about. Uh, why Thanos was purple? You know, there's always kinds of there's like this there's uni has ignore you know, iframe on a uh, scale uh, one. The duck. Yeah, there's um, cats that eat stuff. Yeah. I see. What is it? on the one yeah, scale? Uh, anyway, got a little bit of everything. Okay, it'd been better so, on that four. We hope you look forward to the mighty new I looks. I believe that thing had a nice long iframe. A super villain who only sees victory in his path. Okay. Let's just go through this next section real quick. I mean, these uniforms we'll look awesome. Uniform There's no the doubt all three of these damn things look sick. Stone and Black Swan looks awesome. Switch, I just gotta say, I really Black like Swan the, looks uh, a little heavy on the chest, too. Control. I'm just saying. Well, I don't know if you guys know, noticed, but her chest looks uh, a little heavy. Palette, I will say. I'm it's just saying. This is not something that Marvel Future Fight really normally does. So They don't normally make the ladies have big chests. Some, you know, like moderate, but not big. And Silver Surfer, and then we have uh, Angel's uniform has one. okay, Our and Arachnid, Satana's uniform has uh, Luna these. Snow and Black Panther from Marvel Studios. Okay. Black Panther will come. Okay. Out. And lastly, here are some options for the Thanos from Thanos Wins, which include Iron Man back to basics, 
uh, Professor X and Spider Gwen. A mutant, and then of course we have uh, a native uh, the uniform tier two. cell will apply to the new uniform of Thanos and all uniform options. I mean, it's not that the horrendous, that's for sure. Will not be discounted. Iron Man and, and Spider Gwen, check very on good. The event notice at the community forum for more details in the uniform list. Uh, yeah, let us know what your favorite uniform is. What you're looking forward to. Uh, and, uh, my yeah, favorite uniform looks wise probably would be area. Satana, but I think I'm a little a little partial. Finally. I think so. I do love Here's Angel's uniform. That thing looks awesome. Exclusive. Alright. Oh only tier four is for Black Swan. The tier four content for the March update is World Boss Legend Plus. Oh, you know, World Boss agents Legend Plus. You not be able to enjoy this since it's a Tier 4 exclusive boss, mm. but fear not. And please keep in mind that I'll be constantly preparing more content. We assure you that there will be more I'm updates. I'm sure you guys are. All of our agents can Did enjoy, you so help the rewards? Tuned. But we have purport, since prepared you guys are doubling up on our Tier 4s. Boss, which uh, was voted as a favorite content by many agents. So yeah, it is. It's the, the best content the in the damn game. T4 content. I think for most players. The tier 4 exclusive world boss Black Swan has been released with the unpre unprecedented powerful difficulty of Legend Plus. I bet it is a pain in the ass. Let's see it right here. If it's anything like freaking, you know, seven with the plus Jane. To enjoy Love and, uh, Legend Plus difficulty, agents have to clear story stage 8-3, possess more than three tier 4 heroes, mm. and... Uh, have to clear all of the challenges. You need more so, than three tier four <clears throat> heroes sound to play it. Okay. Bear with me because we're gonna I'll try out the team. new world boss Black Swan together, shall we? So now we got a tier four character ready to have for a support so like Cyclops. I'm going to take Thanos for with us. the same rewards as the other world boss legends. Is that what I'm hearing here? Oh, okay. Is that, that is that what I'm is that what I'm hearing? Am I wrong? All right. Don't mind me. Only a few I'm, I'm pretty so sure cool. that's exactly what's going on here. They literally want us to tier four characters. All right. So as ideally supports, we wanted to run with Thanos, literally only use them as support. Harvester uniform as All leader, the materials we have put into the character in a as a support. support. So we get the same um, damn just rewards? Note, wise harvester uniform get uh, it's going to get a and the tier four will boss to give more so, again, tier four material. Mix up on the team. That's why we have these tier fours in, in it. Anyway, so it don't make no sense to have the same, the same the same rewards. I mean, it makes sense for these peckers because they're such greedy bastards. But it doesn't. You know what I mean? For us, it sucks. I can tell you guys right now, if the rewards are the same in this game chat. mode, um, I won't give two dog teams? craps about this game uh, mode. We'll jump What's right up, Prackle Rock? If the rewards are the same, why would I, why would I want to I'm challenge myself here. even more for the same damn rewards? And I definitely don't want to tier four support characters. Ah, man. Especially if the rewards are the same. Why? Man, Marvel, you gotta step it up, man. You gotta give us better rewards. Alrighty. Otherwise, you know, a lot of your players are gonna be like, nope, nope, nope. About that uh, Wise Harvester nope. uniform buff. So yeah, yeah guys, that's um, awesome. I'm yeah. really happy to hear about that. Again, I was doing some testing earlier um, with the other team that I spent some time buffing up, but now we're just gonna jump in and take a quick look. This reminds I me of Apocalypse, kind of. Not gonna be able to do much damage. What's here, the best thing about this uh, Swan World really Boss, done, Leo? Kind of see what's going on here oh yeah, yeah get out of there man definitely get out of there harvester, so we hope uh players can look forward to that with some of the other april fools costumes she has this guaranteed ccs right oh yes like like we need more ccf yeah. uh yeah that's the so beard's good. gotten a little bit bigger yeah some time building up but that's okay thinking about so getting rid of it but it's uh it's in my face i don't like it absolutely failing here because um yeah, this stuff is top tier content. And, uh, I mean, okay. okay. That's okay. I don't know. Keep it moving. As we always say, just please bear with us. This is actually a live stream, so yeah. Yeah, so it, this is Some me stuff happens. failing miserably, but that's okay, you know? We know you're going to fail miserably your, because you can't uh, play the game very well. Have a little bit more uh, no offense, here. buddy, but we know but you don't play this game in your spare time. Definitely. We know that you just do it on these streams. Yeah. We're not stupid. 
the states. <laughs> yeah. some more you don't play the game. <clears throat> you only play it on the damn so stream. That was a little bit it's of a preview. Obvious. Again, not the best uh, team for that. So let us know in the chat what team you want to use. <laughs> What's up, King Mojo? And, How you doing? Uh, we'll move over to. You're some disappointed other it wasn't curious, the Beyonder. Uh, Beyonder would be pretty agents cool. Agents might be curious about with the rewards and improvements. So I mean, Swan over. looks awesome, Ooh, man. He looks really good. All right. She looks really good. After that um, bad run, let's go ahead and talk about some of those rewards. You can acquire tier two, three, and four materials from world boss legend uh, plus Black Swan. That will be more than the other world bosses, and this includes CTP. More! Refinement in Insight can also be acquired. Uh, more, guys! CTP more rewards! rewards. So uh, you're going to get three more carbonadium, three more uh, carbonadium in World Boss Legend Plus than what you will in World well. Boss so Legend. I really like about this three carbonadium. See a lot of I, I really don't know. I'm just forum I'm posts and uh, content around how players can improve themselves. So we always look forward to seeing that kind of stuff. I mean, they really do need to improve the tier four materials. All righty. Moreover, various improvements for the World Boss have been made. Uh, first of all, the special world boss loots are now available after the first clear reward for all stages above stage That's good. Five in That's world good. boss legends. That's good. Uh, world boss loot with higher grades drop at the higher stages. So the higher grades of the loot and higher chance for items such as CTPs and premium comic cards. Agents can also acquire That's good. the exclusive artifact of their retrospective bosses, except for Noel and Mephisto as a first clear reward every 10th stage. Um, so if you aim higher for the stage, you'll get a higher rank artifact. Please note as well that the first clear uh, records have been reset, so agents who have already acquired their first clear reward can challenge for new rewards. Okay. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more excitement in the chat about all of these increased rewards, and stay That's tuned, awesome. there's a lot more changes yeah. to come. Um, all right, next up, we have another little change here. I mean, it's good to get more rewards. Aspects. So the world boss difficulties have been reduced. Uh, the world boss unlock challenges for Noel and Mephisto, Infinity, Ultron, and Gore have been reduced. So there's a much mm -hmm. more simplified unlock condition which will apply compared to previous complicated changes uh, challenges. Mm. Uh, that okay, way, agents good. can quickly challenge world boss legend. Also, the difficulty for Infinity Ultron and Gore have been reduced to be similar to that of Noel and Mephisto. This is also related to the acquisition of Titan's records, uh, which we'll go ahead and go over in a moment. There also have been changes to made to Dark Phoenix and King the Conqueror as well. The pattern of the last phase of Dark Phoenix has been simplified in the, legacy, uh, the lengthy animation of King the Conqueror that many agents have mentioned has been shortened and some patterns can now be skipped for That's a good. shorter, clear time. That's good. I mean, all this stuff sounds really good, like all with the world right. boss. And speaking of those Titans records, let's talk about the acquisition of those bad boys. Um, they've been improved, and hopefully this is something agents have been uh, hoping for. Now that a certain type of Titan record drop chance is higher based on world bosses Null, Mephisto, Affinity Ultron, and Gore. Agents no longer have to clear World Boss Ultimate to acquire specific types of Titan records uh, more easily. So challenge Null for Titan's record of combat, Mephisto for blast, Infinity Ultron for speed, and Gore okay. for universal for better drop chances. Okay, okay. And uh, for this, the difficulty of Null, Mephisto, Infinity Ultron, and Gore have been uh, adjusted. Uh, There's something that well. sucks about what he just said. So agents who were unable to clear Infinity, Ultron, and Gore can now challenge them. So like, say you get Mephisto for the World Boss of the Day, but you need but you need combat books, right? Mephisto doesn't give combat books. So you can either keep re-rolling and re-rolling trying to get Null for your combat, or just skip your World Boss extra rewards and just play Null and try to get the combat right, books. Uh, thanks for that little intermission. Just to get back to the screen here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look between both these here. Uh, we understand that most of you select world bosses based on today's world boss. Even if you need blast, and you, if your today's yeah, world boss still is RNG. Gore, yeah. you, you may pay Gore, not Mephisto. So to help with that, um, 
we've separated today's world boss from legend to ultimate. We hope this acquires more Titans records. Um, in addition, we've had a new system for agents who were not able to mm. acquire Titans records despite the changes. So if you check out right here, you have a nice little select. Yeah, they need to get rid of the potential uh, crap. So that shit have, didn't sucks. Acquire any Titans records, even after get rid of the, the potential. I hate that shit so much. So basically, you just can, you can clear it. I can't tell you guys how many times I'd be trying to get potential, and I wouldn't do a video <clears> on a character that, hope the straight up because it'd be forever we'll a week later before I'd get the potential. Keep enjoying World Boss. So annoying. Alrighty then, we have looked into the main changes of the March update so far. There are more details and improvements that were not discussed in the live stream, so please check out the update details notices that will be posted on the community forum. And then thanks to everyone who stuck around to the very end. It's ah, a little enthusiasm. Coupon. Good for you, and buddy. As you know, if you've been here before, the coupon code can be used in the main lobby screen. Go to settings, info, and coupon for Android users. And if you're iOS and Apple user, like holy myself, shit, Corey, informed. that's crazy. Usually, Sumpert is entered into the chat now. The coupon code is Black Swan. There Black Swan. This is valid until 3:26:7:59 a.m. There you PMT. go, guys. Uh, change little the time coupon there, for so you. Just. Make sure you I mean, it looks like a decent expires. update. The world boss, the best part, but we're going to have to see how the reward system will play out over time. Good to see they've updated all that stuff. Again, as far as all the uniforms, the, they look awesome. Showcase with Black Swan. I just I don't know how relevant they're really going to uh, be. Prepared, and I was fighting any of them. Some other, uh, don't think Thanos bosses. really needs oh, man, a new really uniform. Uh, yeah, that was uh, all the others look cool, but I don't know, man. So I don't know. Let us know. Once I don't know why people would want a tier four are, angel, except for maybe tier four content. That, they love angel thank you so much. Uh, so I, I don't know, man. Social media channels, uh, forums, or everything Marvel Future Fight. It, it know, honestly it looks more like a content update, which is so, good, than it does anything answer. else. Let's get in your goodbyes, shall we? No, thank you, Three RL, and like for some context, as Three RL mentioned, yeah, we have these accounts. Wiped That's pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna get it. There ain't nothing more this guy's got to say, so we're gonna get out of here, right? But it's just, you know, for me, uh, getting a new world boss is awesome. It really is. Like, I'm, I'm happy about the world boss. I'm happy that they uh, are giving, you know, some extra rewards, some first-time clear rewards. Like, that, that's awesome. That's, that is really good, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, but the core issue of the game, like, we'll see how the Tier 4 world boss is going to work out. I'll have to... Be a little reserved but my skeptical side says that it won't be good enough but we'll see we'll see yeah the book rewards are really nice it's really nice that they updated that i like that so i just yeah i just don't think thanos really needs a uniform he's already god tier as it is he's already super strong but for pvp i guess if you want to have a better pvp character but but the thing is if you build thanos and you have them built for PvE. Why would you buy the new uniform if it's for PvP? Then you gotta change the damn obelisk. And maybe some, uh, you know, some Urus. Ah! No. 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 But, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see.